Well, good Friday morning, folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. I'm going to read just a piece of scripture to you from chapter 15 of the book of John. Starting with verse 1, Jesus speaking, he says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. And no more can ye, except ye, abide in me. I, uh, <laughs> I, I think, um, of something that happened um, to us when we moved to Myrtle Beach area. We had never lived anywhere other than Southern Ohio. And so when we moved there, uh, I had guitars, but I didn't play music. And I began to look at things different because here, I'd spent my whole life here and I'd made friends gradually and acquaintances and people that played and I knew people that had guitar collections and and uh, guitars that they had had for years and I moved there and I knew no one. Uh, I had no connections with people. I didn't play music. I'd sit at the house and play some by myself or the townhouse where we had lived. And so um, we were at a flea market in um, Surfside Beach, I think it's probably in February of 2014. Now, we, I had just moved there December of 2013, so it was February of 2014. And, um, I had a Mark Guitar t-shirt on, and this gentleman in the flea market. Now, this is just God's way of working because I never would have met him any other way. If I wouldn't have had that Martin guitar t-shirt on, I don't believe I'd ever met this fella. But he looked at me and he said, oh, do you own the t-shirt or do you have one of the guitars as well? I said, no, I've got probably three or four of each <laughs> of the t-shirts and the guitars. And so it started the conversation. He said, who do you play with? Or where do you play? I said, I don't play with anyone. I don't know anyone around here. And so we began to talk and he said, well, listen, he said, if you'd like, you can join me and a few of my friends. He said, we gather uh, in Shalote, North Carolina. I said, where in the world is that? And so he told me, and it took me about 55 minutes on Friday night to leave the townhouse where we lived in Myrtle Beach down by the airport to drive across the line into North Carolina to Shiloh. And um, that was the first time that I had met a fellow named Joe Register. And he took me in and he uh, introduced me to, uh, to Jim Calder and some different fellows that evening. And I began to play music with those fellows. And I would sit and watch these guys play and listen to their stories. And I would just soak it all in because everything was new to me. But I also was grieving the loss of all the people that I had left behind that I'd played with. And so that was a feeling that I had never encountered before. And so I was so appreciative and so thankful for these men. And... And uh, they introduced me to different people. Uh, I know, uh, um, I would know I would forget some of the names, but uh, Kevin Borgstadt played bass. They introduced me to him, to Gary Cole. They introduced me to David Long. They introduced me to uh, uh, different, just different people that they had played music with. And some of those folks they had played music with for years. And so it, it was nice of them um uh, Jesse Lewis. It was nice of them to take their time to introduce me to all those people that they did. And I enjoyed my time. Well, I'm telling you that to tell you that uh, yesterday I got the message that uh, Joe Register um, had went on to be with the Lord. And I read that scripture about the vine. Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. Because it was someone that reached out to me 
to show. And yes, it had something to do with music, but he had a relationship with the Lord as well. And so we were able to talk at times about that. And even uh, when we moved back here to Ohio, I sat and spoke at length with Joe on the phone about uh, about the Lord and about uh, salvation and things. So God knows just where to put us. He knows where we branch out. And, uh, and it's good to know. I'll miss Joe. I miss him because we moved back here, so I missed him already. But uh, I'll see him again one day. He and I shared this song. I had sang it for years, and then I learned that he sang it as well. So... I'll sing it in honor and memory of him. There's a little mound of church in my thoughts of yesterday where friends and family gathered for the Lord. There an old-fashioned preacher taught the straight and narrow way for what few coins a congregation could afford. Dressed in all our Sunday best, we sat on pews of solid oak, and I remember how our voices filled the air, how mama sounded like an angel on those high soprano notes, and when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Looking back now, that little mountain church house has become my life's cornerstone. It was there in that little mountain church house I first heard the words I based my life upon. At the old day Sunday singing and dinner on the ground Many were the souls that were revived While the brothers and the sisters Who'd gone on the glory land Slept in peace in the maple grove nearby Looking back now That little mountain church house Has become my life's cornerstone It was there in that little mountain church house I first heard the words I based my life upon I first heard the words I based my life upon Lord, as we come to you, we do pray that you would watch over and bless uh, Nancy and for Joe's children, Lord, and for his family. God, he will give them the care that they have need of. Lord, I pray for all of his friends, Lord, all those who were touched by his life. Lord, I pray that you will bless them today. We love you, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. We'll see you again on Saturday. Have a great day.